Greet the learners. This is Mom Rox, your TLE teacher. I am here to guide you in your learning journey. Be sure to have your soap learning module ready. Did you miss me? Me too. How are you today? I hope you're feeling great. Just like me. All right, let's get started. Do you still recall our previous lesson? You may write your answer in the comment section. Let us see if you are correct. Excellent! Last week, we discussed pictorial drawing. Pictorial drawing is the oldest written method of communication. It shows objects dimensionally and can be viewed and understood by individuals with no background in engineering or architectural design. There are three types of pictorial drawing such as axonometric pictorial drawing. It includes isonometric, diametric, and trimetric. Next, we'll have oblique pictorial drawing. It includes cavalier, cabinet, and general oblique. Last, perspective pictorial drawing. It includes parallel, angular, and oblique. Pictorial drawing shows likeness of an object in terms of its shapes as viewed by the observer. It represents a portion of the object and shows the method of its construction. Now, let us move to our new topic, scaling and dimensioning. Our learning competency is interpret work plans and sketches. Our learning objectives are to, number one, determine the appropriate scale to ensure an object is proportionally drawn. Second, incorporate dimensioning rules and standards. And last, number three, value the importance of rules in dimensioning. Let's find out what to discover in our lesson by answering what I know. So, let's play who wants to be a dropshooter. Direction. Read and understand the statement. Select the letter of the best answer from the given option. Write your answer in the comment section. You only have five seconds to answer every question are you ready i can't hear you great i can see that you are so excited let's go number one this dimension represents the total width height and depth of an object it is letter a detail letter b location C, overall, or letter D, size. Your time starts now. Oops, time is up. If your answer for number one is letter C, overall, you are correct. Number two. A kind of dimension which gives the detail and overall size of the object. A. Exact. B. Location. C. Size. And letter D. Total. Your time starts now. is letter C size you got it right number three 
This refers to the dimensions of composition and relationships between height, width, and depth. It is letter A, dimension, B, proportion, letter C, scale, or letter D, technical drawing. Your time starts now! is letter A dimension. Very good. Number four. Each of these scales is the drop in reducing the of an object on a drawing in a different proportion. It is letter A and large scale. Letter B proportion scale. Letter C Reduce scale or letter D size dimension. Your time starts now. Oh, time's up. If your answer for number four is letter B proportion scale. Brilliant answer. Okay, let's have for the last number five. It is a drawing method used to enlarge or reduce a drawing size while keeping the proportions of the drawing the same. It is letter A, dimensioning, letter B, instrumentation, letter C, projection, or letter D, scaling. Your time starts now. Oops, time is up. If your answer for number five is letter D, scaling. Excellent. How many of you got a perfect score? That was so amazing. Great job. Let us now move to our new topic. Scaling and dimensioning. Scaling is a drawing method used to enlarge or reduce a drawing size while keeping the proportions of the drawing the same. Scaling is used to either reduce drawing in size so that it will fit into the page or enlarge the drawing in size so that all required details are clearly visible. Drawings can be scaled up or down using either a calculator or a scale ruler. On the other hand, dimension is numerical value expressed in appropriate units of measurement to define the size, location, orientation form, or other geometric characteristics of part or object. Likewise, it is a process of specifying parts information of an object by using line, numbers, symbols, and notes. There are commonly used scale those are number one full size scale has a ratio of one is to one this means that one millimeter on the drawing represents one millimeter of the actual object this view of the drawing paper are the same size as those of the actual object Number two, is scaled or reduced scaled is scaled down has a ratio of one is to two. This means that one millimeter on the drawing represents two millimeter on the actual object. Oops, that will be one is to two. I'm sorry by that. The views on the actual object are twice not one one is a two the size of the views on the drawing paper last a large scale or is scaled up a scale two is the one this means that every two millimeter on the drawing represent 
one millimeter on the actual object. These views on the drawing paper are twice the size of those of the actual object. While the scale 5 is to 1, this means that every 5 millimeter on the drawing represent only 1 millimeter on the actual object. These views on the drawing paper are uh, 5 times larger than those of the actual object. Example, scaling down. A 50 millimeter line is to be drawn at a scale of 1 is to 5, 5 times less than its original size. The measurement of 50 millimeter is divided by 5 to give 10 millimeter. A 10 millimeter is line is being drawn. Okay, number two example. If a 50 millimeter line is to be drawn, at a scale of 1 is to 2, the measurement of 50 millimeter is divided by 2 to give 25 millimeter. 25 millimeter line is drawn. Next is the kind of dimension. And those are number 1, overall dimension. Indicates the overall width, height, and the depth of an object. Second, detailed dimension. It indicates size, location, or information concerning any features or details of an object other than its overall dimension. This figure below the front view shows the detailed dimension. There are also rules in dimensioning, and those are first, dimension should be placed between the views. Avoid the repetition of dimension for number two. Number three, use outside dimension if the space is limited and use an inside dimension if there is enough space. Number four, continuous dimension should be used whenever possible. Number five, stagger dimensioning should be used when the space for dimensioning is limited. Number six, when dimensioning a circle, it should be from the center, from center to center. Dimensioning for number seven, dimensions are entered in millimeter without measure. And last, number eight, extension lines must have a distance about 10 millimeter from the object edge and approximate. 2 mm after the dimension lines. Let us now proceed to the methods used in dimensioning. The first one is align dimensioning. Dimensions are placed so that the horizontal dimension can be read from the bottom of the drawing sheet and the vertical dimension can be read from the right side of the drawing sheet. This method is commonly used in architectural and structural drafting. While unidirectional dimensioning, dimensions are placed so that they can be read from bottom of the drawing sheet. And this method is commonly used in mechanical drawing. I want to show you a simple procedure in scaling an object proportionally and incorporate dimensioning rules and standard.
We need to value the importance of rules in dimensioning. Dimension gives the detail and overall size of the object. Little knowledge, did you know that mechanical drafting is the process of creating drawing which communicate on how something can be constructed. It is a way of showcasing a 3D on object on a 2D piece of paper and it shows how the model part will look like from each direction. The drafting machine was invented by Charles H. Little in 1901, and he founded the Universal Drafting Machine Company in Cleveland, Ohio, to manufacture and sell the instrument. Whoa! Now, to test our knowledge, let us, let us answer the assessment on page 38. For the direction, write through if the statement is correct and pause if it is not. Write your answer in the comment section. Again, you only have five seconds to answer every question. So what are we waiting for? Let's get it on. Number one, dimension should be placed or should not be placed between the views. It is true or false. Time's off. If your answer for number one is false, you are correct. Number two. A line dimensioning is commonly used in mechanical drawing. True or false? Your time starts now. Oops, time is off. If your answer for number two is true, very good. Number three. Scaling is a drawing method used to enlarge or reduce the size of drawing. It is true or false. Your time starts now. Oops. If your answer for number three is true, perfect. Next number four. Overall dimensions indicate size or location information concerning any features or details of an or false. Your time starts now. If your answer for number four is true, you got it right. Last number five is cover dimensioning should be used when the space for dimensioning is unlimited. It is true or false. Your time starts now. Time is up. If your answer for number five is false, excellent. How many of you got the perfect score? Click a happy face icon in the comment section. I am truly amazed for a job well done. You did it. Congratulations. In this lesson, we may relate to many mathematics, geometry, algebra, and trigonometry. All play a crucial role in architectural design. Architects apply these math forms to plan their blueprints or initial sketch designs. They also calculate the probability of issues of construction team could run into as they bring the design vision to life in three dimensions.
in history subject, mechanical or technical drawing have existence or existed since mankind first began to build. Though primitive today, standard Asian culture as far back as the early Egyptians had developed a method for visually communicating building or mechanical design. In art subject, wrapping tools may be used from for measurement and layout for drawings or to improve the consistency and the speed of creation of standard drawing elements. So, for your assignment, answer the following. What's more and what I can do on page 37 and submit to your subject teacher. Once again, this is Mumrog saying, like an architect or engineer, draw our future and destiny for whatever dimension. It is important to consider each step or method thoroughly in order to achieve our goals. Because whatever is the situation, education must go on. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.